for all. If you're not familiar with what that means, well, stick around because this might be your golden opportunity to being a homeowner in the golden state. California Dream for All is a program that offers a shared appreciation loan to help you with your down payment or closing costs. This loan is interest free and you can cover up to 20% of the purchase price. However, it is important to note that there is a cap to how much you can borrow with the maximum loan amount set at $150,000, which is still a sizable chunk even for those high cost communities like LA and the Bay Area. The best part about this program is that there are no monthly payments whatsoever. The way you pay back the loan is when you decide to refinance or sell your house or eventually pay off the first mortgage. At that point, you will pay back the original amount you borrowed plus 20% of the appreciation in the value of your home that may have accumulated over the years. Here's a quick example. Suppose you purchased a house for $500,000 and received a down payment assistance of $100,000. After five years, your house is appraised at $600,000 this means that your property has appreciated in value by $100,000. If you choose to sell your house, you will need to repay the original $100,000 you borrowed for the down payment, along with a shared appreciation of $20,000, making a total of $120,000 to be paid back. This program helped nearly 2,200 buyers become homeowners in 2023. It was such a hit last year that they brought it back in 2024, but they made some significant changes this year and that will affect who can qualify for this program. Last year's program was on a first come, first serve basis. It created a frenzy as everyone was trying to get in line. As a result, the program was quickly running out of money. In fact, the $200 million budget allocated for this program was all gone in the first 10 days and the government had to inject another $100 million to process the applications that had already been submitted. This year, they came up with a lottery system and a new qualification criteria to prevent this type of stuff from happening again. The budget for this program remains the same at $250 million for this year. This is how much they're allocating for the down payment assistance. Now I'm going to walk you through the eligibility criteria, but let me reiterate this. This is a lottery-based system they'll randomly pick the lucky 2000 odd applicants. There are three eligibility requirements that you need to meet to qualify for this loan. Number one, at least one borrower must be a first generation home buyer. A first generation home buyer is defined as someone who has not owned a home or been on a mortgage in the last seven years. Plus their parents also do not hold an ownership interest in a home. If the parents are deceased, they must not have had an ownership interest in a house at the time of their death or the borrower must have grown up in foster care. Number two, all borrowers must be first-time home buyers. A first-time home buyer is someone who has not owned and occupied a home in the last three years or has never owned a home, period. However, if your spouse owns a house and you are living together, unfortunately, you do not qualify as a first-time home buyer. Number three, your income must be at or below 120% of the area median income in the county you're purchasing in. I attached the link to the area median income for all counties, so be sure to check it out to see if you meet the third requirement. For example, if you live in Kern County or Fresno County, the income limit is $95,000 for a household of four. The highest income limit for any county is approximately $217,000, which happens to be my county, the Santa Clara County. Once you meet all three requirements and you're fully qualified, you will have 90 days to shop for a home. As you can tell, the new eligibility criteria significantly narrows down the number of people who can qualify for this program. Its purpose is to help those who are genuinely in need and may have been left behind, especially if you and your parents have never had the opportunity to own a home in the United States or if you grew up in foster care. If you have decent income and decent credit score, preferably 660 or more, but do not have enough money saved up for a down payment, that's where this down payment assistance program will be a great benefit. There's a program called Empower Home Buyers, which is similar to the one we just discussed, but it is specifically designed for those who live or work in Santa Clara County. Unlike the previous program, you don't need to be a first generation home buyer to qualify for this one. If you're interested in learning more about it, you can watch the video right here. Empower Home Buyers is more lenient in its requirements and you can receive up to 30% or $250,000 in down payment assistance. If you happen to be a Santa Clara County resident, this may be a better option for you. I'm going to leave all the links to all the programs in the description below. But before you leave, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you next time.